Happy Hi-Fi Friday, I'm Mike Chadwick. Today, I'm going to be looking at five records that I think sound particularly good on headphones, uh, mainly in the jazz spectrum. I am a little bit of a music obsessive, you could say, looking around. Been in the business for quite a long time, been collecting records since I was 10 years old. Currently managing some great bands, Snarky Poppy in the jazz world, the legendary David Crosby, Bill Lawrence, the amazing pianist, and the world music group Bocante. Okay, first record that I've chosen today is this one, Oscar Peterson in concert. It was the record that introduced me to jazz and it was played to me by my dad. And it's a live recording. The reason that I like this, and especially on headphones, is you really get, I don't know what it is about the late 50s, they knew how to record live music and you really get the feel of the Carnegie Hall. And I've been to the Carnegie Hall and I kind of, I understand the beauty of those acoustics. When it starts, the, the way that the audience reacts in the head, you can like, you can, it's almost like you can hear the audience all around the auditorium. It's just a spectacular record. Check it out. Next record that I've picked is on the great German record label ECM Records, and it's by the acoustic guitar player, 12 string guitar player, and pianist Ralph Towner from the group Oregon, of course, but this album, Solstice, for me, is just a groundbreaking record. The presence in headphones, the way that they record at Rainbow Studios in Oslo, which is a legendary um, studio for capturing acoustic jazz. It's just, the presence is amazing. Record number three, and I had to pick a soul jazz classic for me. Um, and somebody you wouldn't necessarily associate with that, that genre, Mr. Frank Foster, tenor saxophone player, legendary for being in the Count Basie Orchestra. This is an original prestige recording, and they were just Rudy Van Gelder. He was the man. He knew how to capture acoustic jazz. And when you're listening to headphones, you are, it's almost like you are in the middle of the recording. It is amazing. It's a track called Raunchy Rita. It's got the great Alan Dawson on drums. I love this record so much. Record number four. So I've gone to the opposite ends of the spectrum now. Uh, this is the Pat Metheny group. They just cared so much about how the records sound. This album by the Pat Metheny group contains the classic Are You Going With Me, which is a headphone desert island disc for me. It just sounds amazing. And when, when they get into the dynamics of the solos, when the guitar and the keyboards are vamping, it's just, pff, love it, love it, love it, love it. Last one is again another German label, MPS Records. The pianist Bill Evans, at a time when he was kind of searching for something, making a comeback, he decided to record an album of music recorded by the great arranger Klaus Ogerman. I've never heard percussion or orchestral percussion sound so incredible, especially in the headphones. It's just, it's just amazing. So there we go, guys. Five albums that sound amazing on headphones. Such a difficult choice to make. I have to say I agonized for days, but if you've never heard any of those records, I tell you, you're in for a treat. Happy Hi-Fi Friday from myself, Mike Chadwick.